Hey guys, let's move on to 1.2. Okay, this is one of these area questions which also integrates a little bit with finance. Okay, so after Mapocho had purchased the bucky, she decided to paint the cargo bin loading box of her bucky with a rubberizing paint. The spread rate of the paint is this. So it's basically saying for each liter, it only covers 0 0.25 meters squared. That's important, okay? Then the rubberizing paint is sold in five liter tins, okay? Then it says a photograph of the cargo bin of a bucky and a simplified model of the cargo bin with dimensions are given in Annex Chip A. Okay, so what's important here is to remember that we've given this Annex Chip, okay? So there's the bucky and there's the loading bin. We have the width, the length, and the height. All of them are in meters, so it's fairly easy. We, we don't have to do any conversions of the dimensions. We've given it, and let's now see what they're asking us. So they say, the cargo, the cargo bin does not have a flat surface area, and therefore the surface area must be increased by 2% to accommodate the uneven. So they're basically saying it's not perfectly flat, it's a little bit uneven, so we have to add 2% so that we can account for that unevenness. Okay. So it says, calculate how many liters of rubberizing paint Mopocho needs to purchase in order to rubberize the cargo bin of her bucky. Okay, so you may use the formula. So it says the surface area of an open box is width times length. Okay, we have that. Plus two times open brackets length times height plus width times height. Okay, so let's write all of this down. So what I've written for us here is I've written out that formula they've given us and I've written out each of the values of our inputs. Okay, remember here when we're talking about area, we always talk about units squared. The units in this case is meters. So that's going to be our answer in meters squared. So let's just sub in each of our values. So if there's a W, put a 1.3.74. Wherever there's an L, put a 1807 plus 2. Remember your decimals, hey? I want to make sure you can see those. 1.807 times 0 0.535. So it's really nice that they've given us the formula because all we have to do is sub into this formula. Okay, now all we have to do, put that into our calculator. Big thing here, and I know I say this often, but make sure that you substitute it incorrectly, right? Because it's very easy to make a mistake. I'm sure you've seen numerous times when I've made a mistake. So let's just make sure we do that correctly. Okay, so the surface area, we have 5.886488 meters squared. Don't round it off right now. Okay, because this is not our final answer. Okay, we still have to increase it for this 2%. Okay, increase it for the 2% for that additional surface area that I've talked about because of it not being a flat surface. Okay, so the surface area plus the 2%, right, is going to be this 5.886488 plus 2% of that amount. Okay. Because remember, we have to increase it by 2%. Okay, not a problem. So we're going to say that answer plus 2% times that same answer. I'm just going to type that in so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, and that is our total surface area taking into consideration, right, that additional 2% that we need for the uneven surface. So now we've got our surface area, right, that we need to cover. But what it's asked us is how many liters of paint we need, okay? It hasn't asked us what's the surface area. It's asked us how many liters of paint. Now, we know that the spread rate, right, the spread rate, and that's why I emphasized this earlier, is 0 0.25 meters squared per liter, right? So we have to say, okay, how many liters will we need in order to cover this full six? So we say that answer we've got... And again, don't round off until you've got your final answer. Divided by 0 0.25, okay? Because that will give us the number of liters we need to cover this full surface area. So we got that answer over there. I'm just going to say that answer divided by 0 0.25, okay? And we need 24.0168710 liters. That's how many liters we have, okay? Well, that's how many liters we need of paint to cover the full surface area. Okay, so we're probably going to need, because remember, we can only buy in these five liter tins, right? 
So we're going to have to buy 25 liters. Okay, because if it's doing it in five, it means I can either buy 20 or I can buy 25, but I can't buy 24, right? So I'm going to buy 25 so that I have enough, but there's going to be a little bit left over. Okay, so that is how much paint she'll need to paint this bucky. Okay, so let's move on to B now. Now B says, calculate the cost of applying two coats. So we've actually only accounts for the cost of one coat, right? The cost of two coats of rubberizing paint if a five liter tin costs five, four, nine, including fat, okay? So we know that for two coats, right, it's gonna be two times 25 liters. So she's gonna need 50 liters, okay? That's how much she's gonna need, 50 liters. But we know that she can buy them in five liter tins, right? Which means that you must say 50 divided by five, which means she needs 10 tins of paint, okay? It's important to make this as logical as possible, right? Because sometimes we can get like so in our heads that we forget that this is actually a very practical, right, scenario that we're working with. So it needs 10, she needs 10 tins. So we say, okay, 10 tins times the price of one tin, okay? And it's including VAT, so we don't have to put VAT in. We say 10 times 549. So she, it's going to cost her 5,490 Rand to buy all these tins. Okay. So it's important with these questions because they build on each other. Okay. So it's important to understand the scenario. 